Well, me and Jay are just leaving the shop of the Army truck. Um, we've got a broken axle on the James Way spreader. It broke on the road on the way to the field. And Jay was actually right in behind the spreader. The damn tire rolled off the... Went down the side of the road. I haven't seen anything yet. So I'm going to be seeing it about when you guys see it. But the tire, uh, when it came off the spreader, what did it do? It come across the road. Yeah, it came across the road. Went into a, somebody's fence. Somebody's fence, fence and then back so, the <laughs> Back out of the ditch. It almost hit a truck. What was that truck coming the other way? Yeah, a white Chevy. Uh, Chevy pickup coming the other way. And then the um, tire came to rest in the uh, ditch. So they've got the telehandler over there. They've retrieved the tire out of the ditch. And um, as you've seen, we just uh, loaded up all the stuff we need to swap that um, broken axle out. I do have a brand new hub um, already loaded onto the axle. So uh, we're going to get over there and get this thing jacked up, slam a new hub and axle on there and uh, get these guys going here so um, the last axle we broke on this spreader was on the other the opposite side of the spreader on the same axle and that was back in january or february um, that actually had a load of manure on it when that one broke uh, this one when it broke um, it was the spreader was empty and he was on his way to the field and the uh, axle broke on the road the, the spindle part of the axle so we'll go over and get that fixed and see what kind of damages that are done to that fence there how far down as soon as you turn you'll see the wooden fence right past these trees all right we're just up to the point where the tire came off the spreader came off the spreader right here on this corner yeah about right and here and rolled it down it through fence. and it hit that fence there and ended up in the in the ditch right there so um jared has already talked to the homeowner and um we're gonna have to fix that fence for him they're um pretty being pretty good about it so we're going to be down to the field here in a second and we'll get working on that spreader. Shouldn't take long to pop that axle out, providing the old axle, the spindle rather, comes out of the um, axle tube itself. And we got Kevin offloading onto the noon. We're going to sneak around the front of him. Uh, it's all kinds of stickiness here. Um, here and there so uh Jared's gonna stand this tire up stand it right up well what I'm hoping is I'm hoping the back side of the hub um, where the seal sets in the bearing I'm hoping that's not broke I'm hoping I can use that hub again so why don't you grab that uh, impact, see if you can get that hub to drop. So we'll get that old spindle out and uh, see if we can't get this back together in a hurry here. Why is that up so high this time around? You jacked up all the way? Yeah, yeah we jacked it up okay. and we left the left axle. Alright, so we shouldn't have to, uh, we brought two jacks with us, we shouldn't need them. 
So hopefully that comes out as easy as the last one. Maybe. I can't believe that even worked because uh, a lot of times when you, um, you know, just the amount of pull, it, you, you cock it one way or the other and it cinches itself. All right, um, you're probably going to want to put the bucket back on because we might need to get the bucket underneath the edge of that tire to lift it on there. So, um, I say he just douches that up heavy with the penetrating oil. And we'll try to push that in there. You got any grease? Yeah, I do have grease, but. Alright, Curtis. That's not how that works, so you'd have to take that thing off and put the metal all the way around it. All right, we're we're pressured in there. <laughs> and here, hold the camera. Where's that bolt? The bolt? It's in the cab of the other truck. All right, I'm here now. Um, I might need a punch. No, no, I'm good. All right, bolt, please. All right, what this is is a dead end, and uh, it was all that pressure um, from the the grease. It did not want to go. Um, we're gonna need that 
inch and an eight. Right, we're going to need the 15 sixteenths. And then the, uh, we're using the appropriate tools here. Um, what do you got? Yeah, it doesn't matter, Jay. 15 sixteenths we're going to need too for this uh, bolt. All right, we can set this over here and turn this off. All right, for whatever reason, I think I lost the coverage of uh, putting this wheel up on there. But we've got the wheel all on. Lug nuts are tight. Uh, he's going to get to uh, hauling here. So here is the hub here. Um, it did not break um, the edge of the hub out, which I've worried about that in the past. Um, when these um, axles break, this one actually broke inside. Uh, the bearing is sitting right. That's the edge of the bearing there. And sometimes when that happens, it breaks off and hits the edge of the um, hub and it ruins the hub. So we're going to be able to get away with just um, replacing just the, the spindle itself. So we're going to get back to the shop now. These guys are going to get hauling. Um, yeah, do you have any towels or anything? Yeah. I don't know if I have anything in here. So, Jared's going to take the uh, towel handler back. We're going to gather up the rest of our tools here. And uh, we're going to get on with it here. He's going to need a plug. He's going to need a plug. He's good and quick. Well, he's headed over to the road. And we're going to... Oh, oh, we're having trouble getting out of here with the old army truck. Corporal Welch mud nets. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How long do you think that took us anyways? Oh, I don't know. Boy, 40 minutes? 30, 30 yeah. minutes? Yeah, didn't take long. But, um... The longest thing was welding it on. Yeah. So, I guess that wasn't too bad. I just got to order up a spindle. Um, I'm glad I had one all put together. I kind of didn't like really like the idea of having a um, extra hub kicking around because um, you know if I didn't need it but if I didn't have that hub kicking around we would have had to take the hub back to the shop and um, put the bearings on it and whatever because uh, those bearings are of good enough size that uh, we need our bearing heater to uh, get them in place. Oh, there's a car coming. Uh, if we can't get up on the road, Jason might have to give us a push. All right. Shoo wee. Man, why is this transmission going? This <laughs> <army truck? laughs> uh, get her done. Why are the brakes always shit? <laughs> All right. 